Hi, in this last video lesson, we are going to learn how this temperature affects the rate of diffusion. Additionally, we will also tackle the question of whether diffusion occurs in liquids. Let's watch the video to get the answer to these two questions. Diffusion also happens in liquids. Drop potassium permanganate crystals into water and they begin to dissolve. The purple solution then spreads out. It diffuses through the water. These three tubes containing water are immersed in baths at different temperatures, 0, 20 and 70 degrees Celsius. A crystal of potassium permanganate is placed in each. After 10 minutes, diffusion in the hot water is almost complete. Why does the rate of diffusion appear to be quicker at higher temperatures? What other factors might be involved? Right, so this video would have given you the answer to the first question. Can diffusion occur in liquids? And the answer is... Yes, exactly. So. The crystals of potassium manganese 7, when it is dropped into a beaker of water, it will first dissolve to form a deep purple solution at the bottom of the beaker. And after that, because there is a greater concentration of potassium manganese 7 crystals at this region compared to the top of the beaker, right? So it will diffuse into the phases between the water particles until we achieve a homogeneous solution as shown in the image here. So the definition of diffusion when applied to gases and liquids will be the movement of particles from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. Now, in the video, we also investigate how temperature affects the rate of diffusion. And we have noted that when temperature increases, the molecules actually gain more energy. And when we gain more energy, they can move faster and this increases the rate of diffusion. And hence, the solution will turn homogeneous over a shorter time. This is what was shown in the video when we compared 0 degrees Celsius with 20 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius. And hence, we can conclude that the rate of diffusion increases as the temperature of the solution increases. And this is reasonable because according to the kinetic particle theory, when you increase temperature, you're supplying energy to the molecule or to the particles. So they will gain kinetic energy and they move faster. Hence, they will diffuse faster as well. And with this, this marks the end to our diffusion topic. And to leave you off with one question, that is, does diffusion occur for solids? We will go through it when school starts again after the Chinese New Year holiday. Okay, so now out of all this knowledge, you are ready to conquer your success criteria worksheet, pages 8 to 10. Please complete all the questions and bring it on our chemistry lesson, which is next Tuesday, 4th February. And with that, I wish you a happy Chinese New Year, enjoy yourself, and don't forget to complete your homework. Thank you.